permanent fire chief. So we're not taking a straw. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Linda Murray, 3330 North Whitney Avenue. Um, I just want to, this is the right word, piggyback <laughs> on uh, John Stalvey's comment. Um, I just like to say, as a taxpayer and a voter of the city, that uh, I voted for y'all too. Well, most of you. <laughs> <laughs> taxpayer dollars that go into this city and I would just like to um, put on point that <clears throat> put on point that um, as a taxpayer the money that has been spent on to me for me is very frivolous stuff that um, I have not seen any positive from this group of people of all the demands, the requests, open records requests, and things that have been talked about through council meetings. And I would like to know, as a taxpayer, if you could post how much time, uh, the hours dedicated, the amount of money that has been spent, legal fees and staff, and time taken away from the day-to-day -day, um, job performance of, of the day-to-day -day job of the city. Um, I just feel that it's unreasonable. It's just not reasonable. I could see if if a group would come out and, and found us thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars or made things more efficient, but I haven't seen that yet. So I'm concerned as a taxpayer and a voter of this city that we need to look at that. And I challenge each one of you to do that tonight. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Any other comments on my right? So I'm going to give you a very brief update on the Charter House. <laughs> yes, I know you thought I would not, but we, had, we did meet with the state because once the county has denied a school, then you, take, you can take it to the state, which we chose to do. We had a very, very positive meeting with the state. They encouraged us to move forward. They gave us some suggestions for what we could do contractually with Atlanta Metropolitan to keep them on board with us. And they asked us when the month of August was over, which was just last week, that we contact them and that we get together with them to strengthen our proposal and move forward in the coming year. And we intend to do that. Thank you, Thank Thank you, you very much for everything you did. <laughs> Having been one that was at that meeting, that was a very, very encouraging meeting. Uh, the state, while they knew that they had to deny us because we did not have an operator, uh, they fell in love with the concept that we have. And I think they fell in love with the concept that we have because it's something that hasn't been done anywhere else. So, hell or high water, we're going to get that charge to them one of these days. Okay. <laughs> All right. Any other comments on the right? On my right? All right, I move to my left. Good evening. Ann McElfresh, 344 Northwoods Place. I rarely bring a piece of paper, right? But I want to make sure I touch on some things that um, have been popping up for me. And as one is at our concert recently, I didn't see a city booth there. Maybe it was there and I missed it. But I love when we promote our city. So I want to make sure that that's in the works, that we can continue to promote our city at the events that we have. And in case I missed it, I apologize. It was a rainy night. Yeah. Yes, it was. And the turnout was awesome, right? I mean, it was totally I think, I think there was one day because they were handing out some stuff. It was not perfect. Got under the way from the rain. Thank you. Okay. Um, if I could read my writing, it would be even better. I got some glasses. Thank you. <laughs> See how my neighbors are good to me. Um, 
one of the other things is I've often seen in, in budgets, not just, I'm not saying that it's here, but I see this happen in a lot of things. We don't think about what it's going to cost for upkeep or when we're going to reassess when it needs to be uh, refreshed or something along that line. So I'd like us to begin to include that in our conversations and in our budgets as we look at things. What will it take to refresh it? What time frame should it happen? Um, it's so easy to do just to add paint, but we tend to forget that, and then we don't have the funds to do it for the time. So to begin to consider that as we look at, at different projects as well. Uh, that being, I talked to David Burt not too long ago, but maybe resurrecting the bike study uh, for riding around the city. Not that we could do that entire piece, but maybe little segments of it that we could pull into life and bring that in, into the forefront. Maybe we can revisit what was proposed on that as well. Um, as well, one of the things that, that will come from the LCI study that we approved tonight, that's one of the things Perfect. that, that we talked about right here was the bicycle. And also okay. T-SPOS, I think there's some T-SPOS yeah. funds going nice. towards bike ads. I know there are a lot of good recommendations so. and there was city input from the, from the residents here. Yeah. So it was really kind of fun to be on that and see what it could be, but it just didn't get a chance to survive and thrive. So maybe we can revisit some things there too. So thank you for that. Um, and then also Fulton County, I've noticed that some of the buildings, like the, the school that they had or the administration building that they've left, the maintenance isn't all that great. Um, you know, I, I get a little disappointed on how the county treats our city. So if there's anything that I can do as a citizen to kind of kick them in the pants, no, I just think just think well building. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then also um, the building that's been empty for a long time no, near the library. Health, no. so. you know, that's been an eyesore. And so I would really like the county to get on board with and the library in general. The library has been poorly maintained with uh, the hedges, the lawns in general, but the appearance of the building we already know is an issue. But to get the county on board with being part of our community and not just forgetting about us on this side of town. Um, and then my last thing is I know that um, this is near and dear to a lot of hearts of so John, um, Shirlene, folks that have mentioned some things, so thank you for that. And what I want to add to that is that we come from a place of what I consider really wise leadership, and that's Mother Teresa. Mother Teresa comes from an aspect of where she was asked to come for a war rally, and she said, no, thank you. But when she said, if you come to me with a peace rally, I will be glad to attend. So I know that there's been a lot of issues in our city whether we're talking to each other or not talking to each other. But what I know is when we rally against, you get more against. And if we do that, that's all that continues, and it never gets any better. So I will ask all of us that if you ever feel that it's an against, please reconsider what's before. Are you rallying for peace? Or are you rallying against? So I'm going to ask everybody that they stand with me, because I'm going to rally for that we build a very strong and powerful collaboration within our city and strong relationships. That's what I want to stand for, and let's put our against aside. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank you. All right, any other comments on my left? Carol? Carol C. 3333 Myrtle Street. I'm not as good just speaking off the top of my head, but I could sit here and feel like a group I'm part of is being um, put down. We are not against the city. We voted for some of you too. Uh, we support our elected officials, but we've seen things we think the city is not doing right. We tried to address that in various ways. It has been escalated to higher levels because we were not taking, giving any attention. There was no response to us. There was no change. So we had no choice but to take it above. We are not against the city. We live here, we pay taxes here, we want the city to be good. But I'm disappointed that people think it's an anti thing. Um, we are citizens here too, with your concerns and, and heart. Um, we'll find out. But I mean, now some things were not being done according to what we, how we read the regulations. We just want it to be done right. And it could have been solved earlier if we'd had anybody paid attention, sat down and talked with us, and been willing to make some changes. Simple things, even in the agenda. So I'm sorry that people think we're against you. Um, we're not, but we can keep working to make our city better, but not calling each other names. Thank you. Thank you. Marcia, you had your hand up next. 
I just wanted to say that I, I want to thank everybody. I love all the artsy stuff we have downtown. I love all the flowers we have downtown. I love all the flowers we have everywhere I see. It just makes me happy. And I know that if it makes, I mean, and then it just, my little sister, well, she's my own sister, but she's little. Just, it tickles her poop. She won't, I just drive her around to look at it. And I just want to couldn't stand here, sit here and not thank Lee, your group, all the work that they do. I understand there's some people that do that. I know that we've got our, um, what is it, the city, the, the Parks and Grounds. Yes, yeah, thank you. Well, I mean, we have all of the people that do this. Mm -hmm. we, have some, we have a lot of the uh, volunteers who fix them up. But I know that this is what brings other people here. I have the um, privilege of Charlotte. I have the privilege of working on, at the depot on Fridays. And we have a lot of people who come over and say, we love to walk around. You're good. It's so pretty the way you keep it up. And that, I know it's money. It costs money. I know that. But we're, that's what we're part of. It's not only to make money, but it's to have people care. And um, I just wanted to say thank you for making my city a beautiful city. Thank you. I hate to do this, but I, do you mind if I just step to one side? I just hate to have my back to everybody else. Is that all right? Okay. First of all, I want you to know that many of us have put in over 40 hours a week reading budgets looking at the different areas of this city where we could save hundreds of thousands of dollars, where we have brought to you ideas and we brought to you committees who would be glad to do things for free that we're paying for. We have brought to you through the Georgia Municipal Association. We paid $5,000 and that's a small amount because we just spend money like we have no tomorrow. But we bring these things to the council and you look at us like we're crazy. Some of us are on fixed incomes. Some of us are concerned. When I brought to the mayor before the last election, my concerns about the hotel and motel tax, we've spent over $8 million, $8 million in repairing the gymnasium over and over and over again. And we call that tourism and trade. Now, if the state doesn't believe that's true because they're investigating us right now. Because you reported us. Yes, yeah, sir. We did because yes, we couldn't yes. get you to do anything about it. Do you know how much we could have brought more. in in taxes, in taxes, and we put that money into tourism and trade? That, that brings in more taxes. Excuse me. That brings in more taxes. But I think it's great to have a gymnasium. I played basketball. I played in all those sports. But that's not what that money is for. That's not what you sign your name to say. That's what we're using the money for. Then we talked about the water sewer fund. We have had a water sewer park in the city since, uh, two, excuse me, since 1978. And that money, if you read the charter, if you take the time to read the charter, that money is supposed to be used for making repairs, replacing <coughs> all of our water sewer lines. And yet right now we're $9 million in debt with no money in the bank to pay for that. So we'll be paying more taxes for that. I'm sorry if we found that thing out, but now we'll have a water sewer park and hopefully. We've asked the state of Georgia to intervene. When we put out contracts that are over $5,000, excuse me, next year we're going to be paying uh, the uh, attorney $500,000 for a city of 6,600 people. That's frightening. When you talk about $500,000, divide that up and see how much you're going to pay. Now, yeah, we bring these things to your attention. As like Carol said, we get nothing. Matter of fact, I didn't get the courtesy of most of y'all looking at me when I'm talking up here. But that's okay. Because you said to me, Mayor, if we couldn't resolve things, and if I didn't like the way you were doing things, you said so sue me. 
Uh, you called me a liar, Miss Williams. You and called me a liar. I, I suggest you, you, you said I perjured myself. Well, you did, yes, sir. So, well, okay. I don't take too kindly to being called a liar. Well, I, I don't either. And what I said and what we've done, we've had to do because we had no other recourse. And if it takes continuing this, we could easily lose our right to collect our hotel motel tax. We could easily lose that if we don't use it right. Because you turned said it to them. Well, I, you know what? I'm sorry because it's obviously wrong to do it that way. But because I'm in the wrong because I've turned somebody in. And they leave. You know. Right. Oh, okay. Order, you know please. Order. Let, let her have the floor. I didn't realize. Let her have that. the floor, please. I didn't realize the city wanted to run this way. If you want to run doing things like you're, that, you're not supposed to, Miss Barr, if that's your choice, then that's your choice. I hope the rest of you would not want to do that. And I ask you again, if you would simply read things and respond, then we wouldn't have to go this far. But if the other folks in the state didn't believe that we were doing them wrong, they would be investigating us. I, I would like to address that. Number one, once you've made the complaint, they are required to investigate. It did not come from their side. Let me finish, please. It came from your side. Number two, that recreation center hosts all kinds of activities and stuff that is promoting tourism and trade. Most of the people that come to that thing, reunions, whatever you can say about it, it is people that come from outside the city. Same thing with our festivals and our church and stuff. People come from outside the city, this promotes the city, and this makes us look good. When we have basketball tournaments, most of the people come from somewhere else. That's what it's supposed to be for. I don't think we're spending the money incorrectly. So, in, in March, we had already started looking at it to make sure we were doing it right, and had you let us alone, we would have done it. And so far, we have spent $40,000 for this reply to DCA. That's money that's going to come out of our other budget, because we can't take it out of that budget, because that can only be spent for tourism and trade. So you have cost the city an additional $40,000. Now, if that forty thousand dollars has been spent, it's only because we do not keep accurate records. We ask for records of how that money was being spent. Miss Williams. Yes, sir. This is citizen comments. Okay. okay. So you made your comment. The auditors responded. Does anyone have a, a response for Miss Williams? Any, okay. any comments that they would like to say? Well, we could sit here all night and, right. and, and do this. And, Thank you. And it's fruitless. Thank you, Miss Murphy. Oh, on a lighter note, um, Laura Murphy, 201 Colorado Avenue. I would like to talk about the fire chief for just a minute. Um, David, thank you for saving my husband's life. Um, you're a wonderful guy and I think it's great, but I think we've left somebody out of the mix here. I would like for you at least to announce who's in the running. I mean, I've heard all these things about David and we all love David, that's fine. But there is another gentleman, I believe, or two, that are in the running. So if you would at least let the citizens know who's in the running, I would appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. All right, any other comments on my left? All right. All right. Uh, Okay, the two candidates are Frank Robinson and uh, Dave Bloodworth. Larry Richards. Larry Richards. Richards. I'm, see, I'm so bad at names. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. I've signed my name wrong before, too, so it's okay. <laughs> All right. Are there any other comments on my left? Council comments? I, I will start on your left. Um, I always like to thank you for coming out. I know there are other things to do on uh, Tuesdays or Wednesday night, so I appreciate everybody coming and spending their time here. Um, I would also like to make some commentary about what John and um, I think uh, uh, Linda Murray said, that uh, in the last election, well, not the last one, the one I was elected in, um, I know that there were about 6,600 people and about 600 voted. So. It is my, I choose it to be my responsibility to represent all 6,600. Not just those maybe 300 and change who voted for me, but for every citizen. I also consider it my responsibility to listen to every citizen who calls me. My number's in the book on the website, and I have a lot of you in my speed dollar, and 
I want to know what you think, every person, about everything. And so that's what my responsibility is. It's to all of the citizens of Hayesville, all the employees, all the business owners, and that's what I'll continue to do. Thank you. Okay, I would actually like to share a story about the fire department. Uh, many years ago, my, I used to live next door to my mother, and she called me up at three o'clock in the morning and told me that uh, she was gonna take, uh, they were taking Debbie to the hospital and that she'd come pick me up and go with her. I said, Mother, you're living next door to me. Where are you coming from? Oh, well, I didn't want to bother him, so I drove him over to the fire station. <laughs> and at the fire station, she kept telling him that she'd take him to the hospital. They said, that's okay, Miss Brady. We'll just put him in the ambulance and take him that way. <laughs> so they were, I mean, and knocked on their door at 3 o'clock in the morning, and they were there and answered and did what they were supposed to do. And, if, and you know, uh, 22 years ago, my youngest, oldest daughter had a wreck, and they're the ones that saved her life. So I have a deep feeling for the uh, fire department, very deep feeling. Also, I want to encourage everyone in this room to vote for the tea squash when it comes in November. We will continue to remind you that that's going to give us a lot of money to get the silent crossings and some streets and some sidewalks. Also, on the 12th, 13th, and 14th, we're going to be building a uh, Kaboom playground at Master Park. Uh, Target is paying for the playground and they're buying all the stuff that goes on the playground and buying some auxiliary stuff that we can put next to the playground. Uh, we're needing volunteers for that, so anybody here can and will. We need 30 for the 12th, 15 for the 13th, and uh, I guess 250 for the uh, bill day, which is the 14th. It's October. It's October. I said October, didn't I? Yes. No, no, oh, I'm sorry. October. See, I told you I'm not very good at that. So please come out. The Dwarf House is giving lunch to us on the 14th. They've already agreed to that. So we're looking for sponsors for breakfast and lunch on the other two days and breakfast on that day. And also I'll remind everybody that on the 21st of September is the fashion show. I encourage everybody to buy your tickets and go. It is the most fun. I've not missed one in years. I was so disappointed when they swapped it and did the talent show instead. I'm so glad they're back to the fashion show. And I'm looking very much forward to it. Um, I'm very, I'm very excited um, about the 10th. We're having the gallery crawl. I want to thank David and whoever else is involved. Charlotte, Allie. Allie. If you're involved, I want to thank you. Uh, Michael, whoever else. I'm so excited. Whenever I get on Facebook recently, it's only things about this gallery crawl. And people are reposting it. It is probably going to be one of the best that we've had. I'm so excited about it. Um, I've invited all my friends from outside the community to come look and see what we've done and the groundbreaking to, the, to, the, to the back. And we had the groundbreaking in the tavern, and they're going to be serving food, right? Like samples? No, real food. There'll be a food. real food. <laughs> oh, real food. Not just samples, but actual, like, okay. So I, I'm so excited. The tent is going to be a great day. Um, you know, and, and I must say, when there's strife in the community, the only people that win is that guy right over there, our city attorney. Because he's the one that's getting paid all this money to defend us. That's the only guy that wins when we have this strife, not the community, that guy. Um, so I think that's all I have to say. Michael. This time I'll speak, I don't always. Um, you know, I've always thought about Mother Teresa when she died, how she got cheated, sort of, because, you know, uh, Princess Diane died the same day, so nobody even seemed to notice, hardly. And I thought, God, that's just wrong. Then I think she probably wouldn't have wanted it any other way. When it comes to other voices in the city, I don't feel like I have any choice or desire to do anything but to listen. Uh, I was elected to this office with less than 50%. Ran against Scott and Peggy, so it was pretty hard to get more than 50%, but I've always felt like I had to earn um, whatever, my $140 a week. Uh, so <laughs> anyway, I, I don't have a choice. I don't know who voted for me, who didn't. It doesn't really matter at this point in time. I do represent everyone, and I don't agree with anybody all the time so that's not a problem for me um i've done well, i won't go into the personal stuff but anyway i think it's important that 
although uh, I think dialogue has to remain open, we as a city, I think, in some areas could have done a much better job of communication and maybe avoided some of these things. I don't, certainly don't blame us in entirety, but I also think it's important to claim things. And so I think as we learn to communicate better, we can avoid some of the difficulties that we have by listening to each other and working it out outside of court, kind of like it says in the New Testament among the Christians. I know I'm not supposed to talk that way, but soon. Anyway, so <laughs> you can't even drug test me. Uh, that's a strange thing I learned about new leaders when I went to the leadership training. They said you can't be drug tested. I thought, darn, I was looking forward to that. <laughs> anyway, uh, I do. Um, I appreciate what everybody does, and I think that there is a a huge brain trust of talent and ability in this town that we need all of it. We're too small to subdivide. That's how you conquer. Uh, Abraham Lincoln gets a, a lot of credit for something that he actually stole from Jesus on uh, a house divided cannot stand. So it doesn't mean that we're going to all agree, but we have to learn how to disagree and how to come out better uh, from it because uh, believe it or not, we're not always right, and we need to learn from those that see it differently. And so I have appreciation, uh, my wife's calling, uh, for everyone here, everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you, folks. Um, I don't know what to say. All I know, all I know is the city's wounded, and it's not necessary. It's not necessary. I think back, what I, what I think of one of the best days of Hayville ever was, was after Katrina, when we met in this very parking lot, and we loaded up socks and underwear and undershirt. In Wadeland, Mississippi, a pair of underwear was worth more than a pound of gold. Because those people were hurting. You know what we did? We came together. We came together as a city, and we came together as a community with a heart, and we showed love. That's my hate bill. I want to take a motion that we go in the I move we go into executive session for personnel, personnel and legal. Personnel and legal. Okay. Personnel and legal. Second. Second discussion. All in favor, raise your right hand. All opposed. I'll entertain a motion to recess. Second. All in favor, raise your right hand. Thank you.